A BBC investigation has found the National Crime Agency failed to arrest a paedophile for 18 months after receiving an initial tip-off about him. The NCA was warned about Matthew Bell in September 2016, but didn't arrest him until March of 2018. During that time, Bell continued to direct the sexual abuse of children in the Philippines. The NCA said there wasn't enough evidence to arrest him when they were first contacted. Angus Crawford reports. Daybreak, a tower block near Glasgow. Matthew, so please open up, please. Behind the door, please. Matthew Bell, a sex offender. On his hard drive, evidence of child abuse. Bell has now pleaded guilty to five offences. He'll be sentenced later this month. But we've uncovered serious concerns about the way British police handled the case. So I want to. Here's Bell on his YouTube channel. Here he is again, in the same room, directing the sexual abuse of an 11-year-old girl in the Philippines, using Skype and a webcam. And this is the man who actually witnessed it and took that picture of Bell, investigative journalist Peter Dupont the from the Belgium. Bed, and also the little girl on the bed, um, what to do, what sexual act to do. Dupont infiltrated a gang, live-streaming the sexual abuse of children and stumbled on a Skype session with Matthew Bell in charge. Uh, that was one of the most gruesome things. He was enjoying very much. He was laughing the whole time. The journalist told police in the Philippines and was there filming when five men were arrested and 12 children rescued. But he wanted Bell behind bars too and set out to contact SEOP, the child protection unit of Britain's National Crime Agency. So, in July 2016, Dupont contacts SEOP's regional office in Thailand. No response. In September, with help from Interpol, Dupont is put in touch with a SEOP officer in London, sending screenshots of Bell and his Skype ID. Dupont is even interviewed by the Daily Mail, which publishes Bell's picture. Emails and phone calls with SEOP continue, but no action is taken. Bell remains free, and court documents show he was still abusing children. In early 2018, we travel to meet Dupont in Belgium and ask SEOP why nothing has been done. Bell is arrested a month later. <laughs> it is very strange. Um, maybe um, they had other priorities. At the same time, it's a huge shame, of course. Yeah. Um, and it's pure negligence. Um, they should have contacted me. The NCA insists child protection is its top priority. In a statement, it said, We received information which, despite researching and developing, provided insufficient evidence for action to be taken. We thank the BBC for their visit, after which we continued to develop intelligence, enabling us to act swiftly. Our professional standards department conducted an internal review and there was no referable or recordable conduct. But questions are now being asked at Westminster. I think this is incredibly disturbing. To have delays in a case like this, which is so serious with such a vile crime against children, is really worrying. So I think we have to know from the police what went wrong in this individual case, but also what are the wider problems that they're facing. Because I've been concerned for many years that there just are not enough resources going into this, given the scale of the escalating problem that we face. Bell is now behind bars, but questions remain for the NCA. Why did it take so long to catch him and how many children were left at risk? Angus Crawford, BBC News.